Well, that's right. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused many shortages, but one of the most important and dire of those shortages is blood. The Red Cross credit summer and the pandemic for the drastic decline in donations. Part of that is, I think, the number of uh, trauma cases, organ transplants, elective surgeries are, are really on the rise. And it, that really depletes the nation's blood inventory. And it, it's no different here in you know, Missouri, Arkansas. It's going, to, it's going to do the same thing. Zydlo also credits summer to the shortage as fewer people are donating. The Red Cross normally sees a dip in donations this time of year, but says this is larger and started earlier than they expected. The Red Cross supplies 40% of the country's blood supply. One hospital that benefits from the Red Cross blood is NEA Baptist. They're experiencing a shortage on the front lines. As far as blood shortages are concerned, I think we see that here. We're seeing, that, again, a, a bit of a drop off um, as far as donations are concerned, and we're fairly critical right now. The Red Cross is in need of the life-saving donations from all donors, but they are in emergency need for one specific type. The nonprofit tries to keep a five-day supply of blood. However, that is shrinking due to the shortage. We have um, literally about a day and a half supply nationally of, o, of, of type O blood, so that's pretty grave. Um, an O donor would be the most useful um, in terms of donating blood. Now both Zylo and Byington say that the shortage could be a life or death situation for a patient. Procedure doesn't happen, and that could be the difference between life and death. And those can be challenging to, to sort of stabilize those patients um, and keep them safe while also trying to manage blood product at the same time. Now the Red Cross says if more people roll up their sleeves and donate blood, that could help combat the shortage. Now if you're interested in donating blood, you can download the Red Cross Blood Donor app or go to redcrossblood.org. Sarah Doan, Northeast Arkansas News, Jonesboro.